Hold on, I got a burp stuck in my chest. Give me a second. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, I hate when you got that lump stuck like in your throat and you're like, man, I gotta get this out. You know, Saji said he might be working on a Scarface kind of montage slash this is how you don't play video. And then uh, I actually got a message today from a former troll. A person who used to troll me all the time, or at least for a certain period of time, they were trolling the hell out of me. They already have a This Is How You Don't Play video made, and they'd like me to review it for possible entry into the program on KO Gaming. I've not had a chance to actually watch the video yet. It just submitted to me last night, and it's like a 50-minute video. Uh, I haven't had a single free second to even take a look at this thing yet. So, if I have a chance, I'm gonna watch through it and talk to this person. I'll be honest here. I'm gonna be very honest with everyone. Okay. It's gonna be take kind of a leap of faith in a lot of ways to trust certain people, especially people who have been pretty nasty to me in the past. Um, and, you know, in that regard, you say, can I trust this person who wants to get their video featured that if I put their video on my channel that they're not gonna be dicks and try to co content strike me or what a copyright strike me with bullshit? You know what I mean? Um... It is kind of a, a a big trust issue. Now, the good news is, if any of these idiots actually do something like that, if anyone, oh, I'm going to troll Phil, I'm going to say that I want my video featured, then when I feature, it's featured, I'm going to copyright strike him. It won't matter. It won't matter because, as we all know now with YouTube's copyright system, anyone who, who claims like that, if they actually want the claim to hold, they have to sue. They actually have to have file a lawsuit in court in order to have a video shut down and have an official copyright strike actually take place against a, a channel permanently. So, do, am I really afraid that if I take a video from someone and they give me a false copyright strike that they're gonna file a lawsuit against me? Absolutely not. At the very worst, what would happen is for two weeks, I'd have this false copyright strike against me and I'd just have to dispute it and it would get cleared up. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I would hope, listen, with the improvements that I've made with the change in attitude that I've had in the past couple of years, the maturing, the maturing that I have had, and the fact that I do understand a lot better how things are and, you know, that people who necessarily have trolled me aren't necessarily anti-me, they're just kind of making fun of me and how I've taken myself so seriously for a long time. Uh, I would hope that I don't think there would be anyone who wants to get their video featured on KO Gaming, who is actually a dick and who's trying to, like, do something like that underhanded, okay? Um, I, I really don't think it would happen, but even if it did, it's not gonna be a huge deal, okay? So anyway, um, yeah, so I've got right there, just in the pipeline, I've got potentially three new community submissions that may be coming up, um, for this kind of new video on KO Gaming, which is pretty cool. And by the way, I guess I should give an update. So, the very first ever This Is How You Don't Play, the official approved one that I posted up, I posted it up Monday night, um, as of today, so it's not even been up for three days yet, has 8,500 views and growing. That's pretty good. I'm gonna be honest with everyone, I did not expect that at all. I actually thought maybe it would get 5,000 views, and that would be it, but apparently people are watching it, and or, I mean, I'm, I know a lot of people are watching it, oh, it sucks. But at the same time, there's a lot of people watching it and enjoying it. And that's kind of the idea. You know, that's kind of the point of the whole thing. To give exposure to someone who maybe didn't get that exposure with this video originally. To show that I am not above being made fun of. That I understand that, you know, if you're laughing with me instead of laughing at me. And you're, yes, let's make fun of Phil, but we'll have it in a, in a way that doesn't degrade him to the point where people want to fucking burn him on a cross. Then that's fun. And I'm okay with that. Alright? So, we shall see. We shall see how things go, but I'm excited for the future, all right? When I have more concrete information for you, all right, um, I will let you know. But the bottom line is right now I don't really have anything concrete. I, like I said, I have one video I have to watch. I have not I even looked at it yet. Um, and then, you know, when I get more information from other people, because there were, actually, I take it back, there was another person who messaged me and said that they may be doing something in regards to For Honor. And then I had another person contact me, and oh god, who was it? There was a, I forget what they said they were doing, but they were doing something recently too. Uh, or working on something recently. I think it was Neo. It might have actually been Neo. So, yeah, that's a lot of people who are excited. And hopefully, uh, this will turn out to be something ongoing and fun for everyone. So, alright.